Yeah. In my house, the woman knows she walks three feet behind. She doesn't talk unless talked to. Are you to. serious? <laughs> no, just for it's, it's a, it's a um, I feel so like patriarchy. if you really just are in tune, you understand your roles. Um, mm -hmm. You get rid of what people are have taught you and what the things that you have seen, and you yeah. just and you're, and I'm me, mm -hmm. and I'm a feminine woman, mm -hmm. and I understand that I love to serve. Mm -hmm. Right, you give me. I love when we birth things. Mm -hmm. You give right. us something, and we are birth. You give us a home, and we're mm -hmm. gonna make it beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm all about um, understanding my my position. Now I am mm -hmm. because I understand my past relationships when I um, overstepped my boundaries and went into the masculine energy. It didn't. It was not successful. What well, is that? Because. Uh, and I guess both of you can kind of speak to it. Is that because maybe the man you were dealing with um, was not um, uh, masculine enough for that you? Can, that can be the case. To where you yes. have the so what to step I have, in the lane? Yes, and I have okay. still encountered this being um, dating um, that it's a lot of men that. Yep, they are. <laughs> just say it. Just oh say it. Okay, they it's are, just they so. Are, they are very feminine and very girl like. Yeah, right. like they want to do what I should be doing. You know what I'm saying? Like they overly. They yeah, serve yeah. me too much. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I'm like, no, a, let a me. A little bit too emotional. And I, I, I mean, it's, yeah, but I guess it is. Know, some of it they can't don't think they can even help because the food is so estrogen dominant based. Man, and, so. and you know what we've always thought is possibly in, in the milk as well. It's yeah. something that's making our men it, it, become more feminine. I can uh, agree. I, I know just from um, friends of mine, older friends, uh, mine and men within my age group. We look at the new age of men, and there's definitely a difference mm -hmm. in just the approach to things, the sensitivity. Mm -hmm. um, that's there, uh, but then, and I think we were having a uh, speech, I think we were having this discussion, and uh, at least I'll get your take. Is part of it to deal with the fact that you have more um, single mother house homes, mm -hmm. and with that, a lot of times, that young man who's growing up in the household, he's the only uh, male figure there, yeah. because he's living with his mother, his yeah. grandmother, his aunt, and his sisters. Yeah. So he has no one to pull any of that masculinity and, from yeah. to understand it. So he and then, picks up the dominant. Right. And then he's getting what it with any little bit that he is um, uh, receiving is from TV, mm -hmm. which is skewed. Yes, and it's exactly. all over the place. Mm -hmm. So, But I don't, have, okay, I want to kind of touch on this uh, being sensitive. I don't uh -huh. see being sensitive as being um, feminine. I don't feel like, I think it's two different things. Right. Um, because you can be sensitive and you know and still be very masculine um okay okay and no, that's, that's not just being sensitive yeah, no, no. i'm talking about the whining and they're just very girl like yeah you know, that's yeah, yeah. i met some adult men you look at them but then when they open their mouth it's like okay what's going on here Mm -hmm. Because it's just too much. Yeah. You too much like dealing mm -hmm. with a girl. And then it's a lot of women that's very masculine. Like majority of my friends are very no masculine. You think so? Your friends? Hell yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I, if I was a dude, I wouldn't be with them. Okay. <laughs> but maybe the, so it's just like me. too. It's too, too masculine. masculine. But then, uh, it, it goes back to have they run across a man who is truly masculine who's going to be like hey but like, that's that part it's like if all the men don't want to tell the women you just you going overboard you need to be quiet okay so growing up um and 
seeing my mother and father's dynamic. My mother. And maybe that's different because I think just not to cut you off, but I know the men that I knew growing up, they didn't have a problem. And we like that. And not being disrespectful at all, yeah. but showing that male energy that's saying, hey, hey, yeah, we that's enough. Like, like, yeah. that's, you know, like, hey, we will say, we will definitely submit to that. Yeah. And it's a good when submit. It's done, when you submit, when, when, done, when, right. a, woman is yes. a, when a woman yes. submits, when a woman submits, um, it's not in a uh, in a way where we are mad. No, okay. if you if you're doing it the correct way, we're gonna submit in the correct way, and we like it. We get Willing turned on. I mean, it's everything to mm -hmm. us. You know, we want to be put we in want, our place we because want we to be able to follow, you. right? Because we, yeah. you know, we would take over. I call it take over spirit. Well, I think all women have it, but we would naturally just take over and, and make stuff happen if, unless the man be like, oh wait. I got that. But um, that's, I seen that dynamic with my dad. My mother got a lot of leeway. Um, but mm -hmm. when I was younger, like when I was like five, six, um, but by the time I uh, became a teenager, I would see dad, you know, just be like, all right, that's too much. And then, right. I mean, and she had, she would just be like, <laughs> it'd be so funny. I'm like, dang, why don't shut up? She didn't shut up. <laughs> Well, but, but what? But what did her face say when her dad yeah. told her to do that? When your dad told her that, did she fix it? Did she get it like that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, I see that face okay, again. I got, I got, I got to stop yeah. well, immediately. Yeah. Immediately, you know. Um, so when I got into my relationships, you know, I was just taking over shit. <laughs> 